Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the JJRC X12. Uh, this is also sold under other names such as uh, Seafly, Yixin and so on. But this is the JJRC X12. This is the two battery combo version. Uh, the quadcopter comes uh, looking like that and it features a 3 axis gimbal. They also advertise it as having a 4K camera. Uh, there are two models, uh, Full HD and 4K version. This is the 4K version. Hopefully the camera will be at least good for Full HD. I don't plan on uh, getting uh, 4K uh, good quality at this price. But the quadcopter itself is really nice. It's very small, very compact and folds really well. It has even folding feet, just like that folding propellers so everything is folding it has two sonars it has a video camera here pointed downward this is for optical flight without GPS uh, here we should add our own micro USB micro SD sorry um, memory card so let's see what else is in the box it comes with a proprietary charger which is not really nice because uh, you get only one of these with two batteries, so you need to charge one at a time. It has a micro USB port. The batteries look like that. There's no LEDs, no smart thing on them. So you charge and use them and that's it. Hopefully they will provide good flight time as they are uh, lithium high voltage. And it's a 3 cell battery, 2400 milliamps hour. So plenty of capacity and high voltage. So I'm guessing that 20 minutes should be uh, easy to achieve. We'll see about that. It has this clamp for your mobile phone. This will fix to the transmitter. You get this strap with metal parts here to fix to the bag. And it looks like good quality. A set of spare propellers and hex keys in there. No spare screws, so be sure not to lose the original ones. And the controller itself, looking really basic. You get this on a lot of GGRC models, but it has a good feeling. It performs okay, uh, and it doesn't have a lot of buttons to mix with and uh, disorient yourself. It has automatic takeoff landing, uh, you can disable GPS, you have photo, video, return to home and this is for using the uh, pointing the gimbal up and down and it has two folding antennas just like that and rechargeable built-in battery which is nice because it spares you the trouble with AA batteries and stuff like that. So let's see if this works or not out of the box so I'm going to at my memory card right now all right so that is installed and i'm going to insert the battery which has two security clips on the side looks to be very well fixed i don't think it has any kind of chance of falling from the quadcopter like on some dji models all right and I'm going to power this on. I'm going to remove this. Okay, and let's see a simple tap or double tap or long tap. All right, so it's a singing drone. And I'm going to also power on the transmitter. All right, and we should have a new wireless network here let's see uh, this has two wireless networks actually it has a drone wireless network and it should also have a controller network and you want to connect to the controller with the mobile phone as the controller also acts as a relay uh, between the phone and the drone so there it is controller and drone so I'm going to select the controller and the phone is connected to the controller the controller to the drone all right and the app is uh, the enjoy fly app and JJRC has a problem with 
Google Play and uh, in case the app is no longer available, you can use the Seafly application, which is the same as Seafly makes this and uh, rebrands it or something like that. And you need to enable GPS on your mobile phone. This is for uh, other uh, features such as return to home, accurate return to home, follow me and stuff like that. And if I press on start flying, the drone is under remote control, which you want to see and i have image and the gimbal is working as you can see it holds the ground level even though i uh, shake it a lot so that's what i wanted to see image looks okay looks fluid doesn't shatter it's not pixelated it's in preparation position flight because it searches for gps and here it has several things such as uh, changing the cameras and you can actually use the down position camera the one from beneath and you can see the camera that I'm with the bottom of the quadcopter so you can take a quick look under the drone which is really nice you have this uh, two-sided view for 3d mode or uh, thing like that you can reverse it and it has this Thing which looks like a magnification or something I don't know what that is it's not explained uh, but it should do something all right so back to main camera normal view you have these three points here and you get to the settings you have the beginner mode you have an altitude limit maximum is 500 meters altitude limit uh, it has uh, voltage protection, low power alarm, you can calibrate the gyro, the compass from the app, it even shows the firmware version, it has a distortion correction for the camera, so the camera sh probably is a bit wider than a uh, normal linear lens, so you can correct that, it has gesture recognition, you can show it uh, the palm of your hand, wave it and it will take you a uh, drony and that's the settings, you have the battery level for the drone, you have signal level level for the GPS which is none right now because I'm indoor and you have quick settings here for the camera to start recording and you have also an option here probably to control the gimbal but not I'm not sure and that will not work because as the app has told you the quadcopter is under remote control control and you can tilt the gimbal from here so the app will not control the drone because the app is connected to the controller and the controller is connected to the drone. And uh, forgot to mention in the box you are also going to get a micro USB cable which is used for charging the controller and also to connect this to your own USB charger. Uh, and a quick manual which shows you the controls and how to calibrate it and how to connect to the app. That app, which is currently not available to download, so use the Seafly app. So that was it for now. I cannot fly it because outside there's a blizzard and we have a very strong winds, such as uh, 70 to 100 km per hour uh, gusts, so it's impossible to fly. As soon as uh, the weather gets better, uh, I'm going to go and uh, do the outdoor flight test. So this will resume as a part one of the review with part two coming as soon as possible. So you can subscribe to my channel and follow my next uploads. And until then, see you and bye bye.